This video will introduce how to find the residual at z equals 0 for the function cotangent z over z to the power of 4. We have already introduced many example questions about the concept of residual. So if the complex number is the coefficient of 1 over z minus z0 in the expansion form, then we can say the complex number is the residual of the function f at that isolated singular point z0. So basically back to our question, we know z equals 0 is the isolated singular point for the function. So we just need to find the coefficient of the term 1 over z in the expansion form. So I think we all know that cotangent z equals cosine z over sine z. And I think we also know the expansion forms of cosine z and sine z. So the first step for this question is that we just need to substitute cosine z and sine z into this function. And we can also extract the z from the denominator part out. So we have 1 over z to the power of 5. So here, I guess, actually, I feel a little bit confused because it is too complicated to me to see this factorial and z to the power of 2, 4, 6 in both the numerator and the denominator parts. But in the denominator part, we noticed there is 1 minus something. So let's make a little bit update in the denominator part. We have 1 minus the function. And I think you also know we can change this using 1 over 1 minus c to the expansion form. In this case, we can move the denominator part to the numerator part, right? Okay, so we just need to rearrange this function. So we have 1 over z to the power of 5. We just copy the numerator part and then change the denominator part into 1 plus the function, then plus the function square, then plus the function to the cube. All right. So now let's just copy this equation to the next page to continue our question. Based on the definition of residual, we are looking for the coefficient of 1 over z. Since we have 1 over z to the power of 5, so we just need to find the terms with z to the power of 4 from the multiplication of the two parentheses, right? So the z to the power of 4 can be cancelled with 1 over z to the power of 5. So we can obtain 1 over z. So I think we are very clear of the next step. So we just need to focus and be careful to find all terms with z to the power of 4. Now let's copy again this long equation. So first, let's take a look. From the first parenthesis, if we have 1, so we need to find all terms in the second parenthesis with z to the power of 4. After a careful check, we, we, we can have that the first is minus z to the power of 4. And we can also find z squared over 3 factorial squared. There is another z to the power of 4. And that's it. Now let's Take a look at the next one in the first parenthesis. We have z squared, so we need to find another z squared in the second parenthesis. This is the second one. The third one from the first parenthesis, we have z to the power of 4. So we can only have one item, which is 1, in the second parenthesis. So we have another z to the power of 4. And that's how. That's all of the terms we can find with z to the power of 4. So let's reorganize and rewrite all terms with z to the power of 4. We have this. You can check by color. It should be very easy to follow. 
So the next step, we just need to do the simple math to calculate the value of the term with z to the power of 4, which is minus 1 over 45. So you can check with my answer. Let me know if I was wrong. So based on the definition, we know the residual at that isolated singular point, z equals 0 for the function cotangent z over z to the power of 4 is minus 1 over 45.